Well, hi everybody. It is March, end of March, and uh, it's been a busy few months. Um, and to be fair, I've struggled to get back in the pottery. Um, I have done some videos before of stuff that is going to be glazed. Um, so there will be some videos coming out. You probably will have seen them by the time we've chatted. But what I've got is I've got three lamps that I am going to glaze now. Um, and then I've actually just been asked to do a vase, which is nice. Um, but the lamps, I'm going to give you a heads up of what I'm doing. And I'm going to do it in stages. Uh, so it's a bit of a quicker video. But to show you what I'm doing. And then you'll at least see uh, uh, a bit of a mind thought when it comes out of the kiln. Okay, so I've got three lamp shades, as I've said. Um, three balls, really, of clay there and we've got the hole in the top now this one did have a crack so we'll see what happened i actually restuck uh, that back on and um, it has got the little place at the side for the cable so and then we've got one without markings again three balls and i've sort of smoothed in the the, the glazes are all bisque now and then a third so we have three and that is has a hard line so solid line blended line solid line with extra carving just to see now uh, a friend of mine did ask for um, something that looked like this if you remember where we did red and then we put some copper on and the copper melted and went green and went into this um, sort of uh, platinum color pewter color on the top so that's what I'm doing. But I'm going to do it a bit different on this one. I'm going to do it through blends of, of red. So orange, then I've got the normal red. Then now I've got the dark red. And then on it will be textured amber brown. I don't know when the textured amber brown will come in. Because it should look quite stunning over that whole part. But I probably want the red to be a bit lower. So it'll be orange, red, dark red, textured amber brown on this one. Okay. Okay, so this is to give you sort of an update. So the top that has already dried off is three layers of the orange. This section here is now the three layers of the solar red, which they call on this gut hell rot. That's right. And then now I'm just going to do the next bit, which is going to be the dark red, the glut de Duncan <laughs> dunkel rot. Uh, this is Terracolor, uh, which is a glaze by Scarver in the UK. Um, I know a lot of you have asked in the past about how do I get these oranges and that because you're struggling with different colours. But um, yeah, this is one. We're lucky we do have this in the UK. OK, so that is then the three colours. Orange on the top, red on the middle, darker red going into now the textured amber brown. And this is for you. So you can if you need to look this up this product up then you know what we're using okay so we're at the stage now where we've got the orange on the top red deep red and textured amber brown all has had three coats so i'm now going to have a look at um i think i'll let this dry and then we will have a look at putting the copper on tomorrow Okay, so that's me coming back to the piece that I'm now going to add the copper wire to. Now, as you know, um, if you've been following the videos, when we did it with this one, I tried copper wire and mesh, but clearly too much. When there's too much copper, it really starts to bubble. Um, and what I'm trying to obviously get is this sort of lovely drop from every piece of copper wire. So when I did a little vase, I only seriously put about three mil in the um, three mil pieces um, of very, very fine copper wire. So I'm going to cut some up and then we're going to choose how many we put on because this is, again, a bit of a learning curve. OK, so. Um, what do you think? I'm going to do sort of three mil, the three mil pieces. That one on the floor. There's ten there. Um, 
And to be fair, the last time that I did them, I just put them on with a bit of glaze or a bit of water, I suppose, even. But we'll have a look and see how that goes on. What I've decided to do, because I, I really think a bit of glaze would be good to stick it in. I've just got opened up a, a pot of clear, clear glaze. And if I get a piece of the, that's it stuck on there now. So there's one bit there. We could have them at every time there's a rise, which would be sort of three at that top area there. as well because that now is stuck in there and that will dry in that so I just picked it up with the um, with the brush right. so that's sort of three along the top I don't want to be so um, zoom in a little bit they I really want these to be then in sort of the opposite to this. I'm going to put these ones right at the top of here. Yeah, that does work quite well. Then I'm tempted to sort of have double going on here. So that it's getting busier, I might have to make some more. What I think I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a couple, go back out again, or go up higher. I think I'm going to put a couple more in between these at the top. So there's three, three places to. It's a bit um, uniformed, but I don't know if that matters. So I've got three at the top to spread down, three lower down, and then all the others should be sort of like, I don't think we need to have anything going onto the textured amber brown. I think these are gonna run onto it and then the textured amber brown should stand out for its own. Um, so I've got sort of up, down. Maybe another one there, if I've got another one there. There you go. So that now has the, if I come out, that now has where all those white spots is a three well two centimeter two mil three mil piece of 0.75 i think copper wire on top of the red 
It is always on top of the red. I, I, it'll be interesting to see what it looks like when it runs onto the textured amber brown. But as we know, this is orange, red, deep red. So that also might mean we get slightly different colorations, but I would expect these to all have green shoots down. Okay, is that one finished? Now ready for the kiln. This is a picture just to show you the inspiration um, of why I tried copper wire on a red glaze. <laughs> 